everyone, it's Nicole here from Butcher Not Macrame. In this tutorial, we will be going over five scented patterns incorporating colored cords. Incorporating color into macrame patterns means that you can create even more patterns. It also gives you that contrast you may be looking for in your patterns. We will be using some of the basic knots of macrame to make these scented patterns, such as the half knot, the square knot, the half inch knot, and the large set knot. These scented patterns used on their own can be used to make keychains or dog collars, or they can even be incorporated into larger pieces, such as wall hanging layers or plant hanger posts. Let me know in the comment section below where you guys decided to use these patterns in your own pieces. And with that, let's get started. All cords used for all five patterns in this tutorial will be 200 centimeter long strands of cord. The very first pattern we're going to go over is called a double half knot spiral. We're going to be using two different colored cords to make the half knot spiral. We're using a different color for the anchor cords as well, but you don't have to do this. You can just use one of the other two colors for the anchor cords. So taking one strand of cord, of color one cord at 200 centimeters long, we're going to fold it in half and attach it onto the dowel using a large set knot. These will form the anchor cords. Then taking a strand of color two cord, we're going to take the middle part behind the anchor cords and we're going to make a half knot with the two color one vertical cords as anchor cords. Then take a strand of color two cord and repeat the same thing underneath. Now we're going to be switching each color with the half knots. So taking the left white cord over the bottom red cord and then switching underneath the red cord on the right side, make another half knot. With every half knot we make, it's going to be opposite ends. So one's going to be over and one's going to be under. Because we did the left side over, for this next half knot, we're going to take the red cord over on the right side and under on the left side for a half knot. Make sure that the half knots are made in the same direction all the way down. Then continue repeating this downwards and slowly you will see that this pattern will start to spiral. And this is what the pattern should look like once you have made several of these half knots. You can see that there are two different colors with the half knot spiral. The next pattern we're going to make is an alternating square knot pattern. 
Taking two strands of color one cord, fold each strand in half and attach them onto the dowel using large head knots. Taking the far left and far right cords, make a square knot. Then taking a strand of color 2 cord, we're going to take the center of the cord behind the two anchor cords and make a square knot. Now bringing the color one square knot from underneath, we're going to make another square knot underneath the color two one. Then we're going to continue alternating the square knots with each color. Once you have repeated this pattern several times, this is what the pattern should look like. The third pattern we're going to go over is an alternating half hitch braid. So we're going to take one strand of color one and one strand of color two and attach them onto the dowel using Lark's head knots side by side. Then starting with the far left cord, we're going to make a half hitch knot with the two middle anchor cords. So take the left cord and make a half hitch knot through the loop on the left. Then with the far right cord, we're going to do the same thing underneath, mirroring what we just did on the left. So taking the far right cord, make a loop and pull it through on the right side. Then repeat on the left side again and continue downwards by alternating these half hitch knots. Once you have repeated it several times, this is what the half hitch braid should look like. Pattern number four will be set up the same way as pattern number three with color one cord and color two cords side by side with Lark's head knots onto the dowel. This is called a Lark's head knot loop braid that we're going to be making. And what we're going to do is make several vertical arcs head knots underneath and tighten them up with loops on the side. What we're going to do is take the far left cord as a working cord and make a vertical Lars head knot with the middle two cords as anchor cords.
Then take the far right chord and repeat the same thing underneath, mirroring what we just did on the left for a vertical larsa knot with the two middle chords as anchor chords as well. Now we're going to take the color one chord on the left side and make another vertical larsa knot underneath. But this time, before we tighten the knot, we're going to leave a small loop on the left side. We're going to hold the loop in place before we tighten the larsa knot. Then do the same thing on the right side by leaving a loop on the right side before you tighten the knot. Then continue alternating this pattern below for the alternating Lark's Head Knot loop braid. And this is what the pattern should look like once you have made several of these loop patterns. The very last pattern we're going to go over with color chords is a half knot spiral. Similar to pattern one, we're going to be using one strand of three different colors. So we're going to attach all three strands onto the dowel using large set knots. Now we're going to take the far left two chords and the far right two chords as working chords for a half knot, leaving the two white chords in the middle as anchor chords. Then continue repeating the half knots several times underneath. And you can see that because we have a different color on the left side and on the right side, it will alternate colors as you make the half knot spiral replicating similar to a candy cane design. Once you have made several of these half knots, this is what the pattern should look like. And that concludes our five Senate patterns incorporating colored chords. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These will definitely make unique patterns for your larger macrame pieces, or they make for good keychain patterns as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.